Fresh Michigan produce is one of the best things about summer, and one Metro Detroit nonprofit has made it their mission to bring fresh food to those in need. And joining me right now is Chris Nemeth from Forgotten Harvest to talk about how they harvest the vegetables they grow. We're so glad you're with us. Thank you. Nice to be here. All right, so tell us about this farm. Forgotten Harvest started this, what, two years ago? This portion of the farm was two years ago. We actually got into the farming business about four years ago, and uh, uh, it's been a very exciting uh, growth opportunity for us. We initially partnered with with some farms, mm -hmm. and then uh, through the generosity of Nora Maroon and the Maroon family, uh, they made available to us a farm out in Fenton, where we are right now. So last year we did about 95 acres, and this year we're doing about 115 acres. I know a lot of people describe you as a food rescue nonprofit. Yes. How has Forgotten Harvest changed once you were able to have your own farm? Well, the wonderful thing about the farm is that, along with continuing the rescue with our partners. What it also allows us to do is grow our own produce as well. So by growing that produce, we can ensure that we've got uh, a produce uh, guaranteed to come in during the course of the year. And we're looking at some video right now. Where is the farm located, and what kinds of foods are you harvesting this year? Uh, the farm is located in Fenton, right off of uh, Exit 75, uh, Center Road Exit, off of 23. And uh, this year, we're harvesting 11 different crops, uh, including cabbage, potatoes, corn, uh, three different types of squash, zucchini, beans, everything you can imagine we're harvesting out there and growing right now. And as before, you can't do any of this without all the great volunteers, oh, right? Absolutely. The, the volunteers are such a key part of what we do. And so how does it get, you know, from the farm to the table? Well, it's, it's uh, our amazing uh, farm team out there. Uh, we have a third generation farm manager, Mike Yancho, and his team. Uh, basically, we run the farm and the crops are picked. And this year, we're estimating we'll do about 2.8 million pounds of uh, wow. fresh produce. And what happens is we'll harvest that out there through the, the generosity of volunteers. We'll have about 3,000 volunteers this year that will come out and help at the farm. Uh, our trucks will pick it up, take it back to our Oak Park facility. We'll do some processing, cleaning, and then it goes out in one of our 34 trucks out into the uh, Tri County area and is delivered fresh to uh, those in need can't beat that fresh food. Huh? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> you know, folks at home might be watching saying, you know, how can I get involved? I mean, is there a certain amount of time that they have to dedicate to it? Can they just volunteer at the farm? How does it work? Typically, we have volunteers at the farm uh, and our Oak Park facility, but if they're interested in volunteering at the farm, it's a four-hour shift, mm -hmm. typically from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and all they have to do is go on to our website, uh, ForgottenHarvest.org, or call 248-268-7510, and uh, for parties over 100, and we can accommodate them, and I guarantee them they're going to have a wonderful experience. Sounds like a great win-win situation for everyone involved. Absolutely, all absolutely. Right. Thank you so much for your time and all Thank that you, you do, and we'll have more of that information on our website, WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7th section. Right now, let's send it over to Andy and Chris.